Even though the topic that I picked for discussion today may sound obvious, however, this is one of the most weird and sort of a what the f sort of things that I've ever researched. What do pigeons eat? Can you answer that question? Mm, bread. Okay. Insects. Worms. So I could not make a video about this. We will talk only about Columba livia domestica, which are pigeons that you can see in the city streets and the crazy variety of fancy pigeon breeds that people keep as their pets and in their pigeon lofts. If you want to know what a healthy diet for a pet pigeon should have, just skip to the next video. Here I was hoping to cover only general stuff and, as I think, misconceptions about what pigeons eat. So, if you're interested in that, we live in 21st century, the time when you can access any information with the least amount of effort through a Google search. And as soon as you type in what do pigeons eat, the fun starts right away. The information goes all over the place, starting from they may also prey on small game like worms, insects, and snails. And it stretches too to really boost the protein in pigeons' diet. Consider putting out some canned pet food. <laughs> While the pigeons will enjoy this highly scented food, so will magpies, crows, cats, and even foxes. That doesn't sound suspicious at all. So the real challenge here is to find information that you can trust and use your common sense. With this video, I am inviting you to think with me and see what is believable and what doesn't seem to be true. You may agree or disagree on some information that I'm giving and that is great because it means that you're not just trusting things but you're analyzing first. Now let's start thinking. Even though we're talking here about probably one of the most ubiquitous birds that you can think of, according to Google search, there seems to be no clear agreement if pigeons are herbivore or omnivore. My perfect English pronunciation. <laughs> I'm not an avian vet. My profession is not connected to birds, but I have a strong opinion that pigeons are herbivore and here's why. Naturally, pigeons are very curious birds. They like to peck on stuff, dig through things. I will dare to make an analogy here with human babies. Anything you will give them, they will try to lick, chew on and taste like... <laughs> I know my niece was trying to eat sand and she didn't learn very quickly that sand is disgusting. <laughs> she tried to eat it multiple times. And so pigeons learn about this world by tasting stuff, which is very important for survival, by the way, because this way, for example, they find new water sources during different seasons, like, say, in the winter when everything is frozen. See? <laughs> Toby just found new water source. Those little drops, <laughs> besides the big water bowl, with clean fresh water that I change every day just for her. <laughs> Pigeons find things that are eatable or not, see if something is tasty or not. And that's exactly what you see Toby is doing. She's not eating, she's tasting. You can see that she's shaking her head because she's realizing that turkey with gravy is not her thing to eat. Where am I going with it? Oh yes, if a pigeon, for example, ate a small ant or a little bug accidentally to taste it or thinking it's a seed, it doesn't mean that insects make a necessary part of their diet, because they don't. It's the same as if you would see my niece with a mouthful of sand and be like, babies feed on sand, and that logic is <laughs> absurd. The true omnivore bird would be sparrow. They feed mostly on seeds, but insects make a necessary part of their diet. And it's really easy to prove. Just tap in Google, sparrow eating insect, and there will be a ton of photos taken by other people of sparrows with an insect in their mouth. But if we'll search for pigeon eating insect or worm, whatever, nothing, literally. Well, that is a straightforward Photoshop. I can do that too. Here, pigeons prey on alligators. You're welcome. So yes, another weird thing that I found on the internet is that pigeons prey on small game like worms and snails. Have you ever seen a pigeon preying on worms or snails? How, how does it even look like? I mean, maybe you have. I don't know. <laughs> if you have, leave a comment because I will happily believe it if I will see a legit proof of it. But I lived in cities all my life and I had passion for pigeons all my life and I never saw a pigeon preying, eating or even trying to swallow a worm or a snail. But okay, Let's make a very complicated and incredibly expensive $10 experiment and 
take some mealworms because they're relatively small and potentially can fit in pigeon's mouth and some night crawlers. That was inspired by this photoshopped collage right here and those are the guys that you can see on the sidewalks when it's raining. I mean, pigeons potentially can have access to them during those rainy days, I don't know. For some reason, she's afraid of that form of protein. Let's see if we have a better luck with homeless hunger pigeons. By the way, here is the protein. I love the reaction of this pigeon when he sees this pile of worms. Oh, right there. Ah, no, no, mind. Eh, looks like pigeons were a bit skittish that day. Let's try another time. Oh, sorry, here are the worms. I had to sprinkle them with some seeds, otherwise pigeons wouldn't even look in that direction. You can see that they're eating around that precious protein, but let's keep watching. And yes, we will be watching pigeons not eating worms for a while. I mean, I have to prove my point, right? Alright, alright, I think I tortured you enough. So, based on our incredibly complicated and expensive experiment, I can make a conclusion that the fact that someone creative wrote that pigeons prey or hunt for worms or even need them for a complete nutritious diet is a complete side note. At the time when I was filming this video, in Toronto it was not illegal to feed pigeons in the streets, not in the parks though. However, the government is working on making a regulation on the topic and forbid feeding pigeons anywhere in general. When the change will happen and if it will happen at all, I don't know. No, pigeons eat anything. I saw them eating french fries and chicken nuggets. Fine. For the purpose of our intellectual reflection, let's assume that pigeons will eat everything. My heart. But this assumption that most people have stretches to the point that practically anything that pigeons will find and eat in the streets will be not only nutritious for them, but also will not be harmful. Pigeons will eat something extraordinary and not particularly healthy for them in two cases. Again, curiosity. This is Toby's case, since she is anything but hungry. I had a situation where Toby was walking and exploring on the kitchen counter when I was cutting some veggies for a salad, and one of the ingredients was sweet onion. Usually she just pecks around and just leaves, but this time she literally swallowed a piece of onion about this big. and. Onions are one of the products that are harmful for pigeons. She was absolutely fine. But why did she eat a harmful item and not tasty? Like, come on, it's onion. When she has access, unlimited access to good stuff. Curiosity. I mean, not like any other animal eats stuff out of wonder. Hey, you wanna try jelly bean candies with a taste of vomit? That doesn't sound good, but yes. Oh, I'm not joking. Those candies exist. Hunger. That's the case with all feral pigeons that you can see in cities. Since there is little to none source of grain or seeds in the streets, they feed from what is available in order to survive. Anything that humans didn't eat and toast out. So, if you will see pigeons trying to eat french fries or chicken nuggets, it's not because pigeons are disgusting and they will eat anything. It's because they're actually that hungry. You want to hear disgusting? There is a TV show that I was watching some time ago called Naked and Afraid. There, two participants with survival skills are selected to go to the wild nature and survive for 21 days while being absolutely naked and have nothing but a flint to start fire and a pot to boil water, if they can find water. People there are absolutely miserable, cold, hungry, unable to find food, they often eat disgusting stuff, like snails that can have 
all sorts of pathogens in them and be way more harmful than good. Are snails part of the natural diet for humans? Well, I mean, some people can be like, well, humans are omnivore, we can eat everything? Correct, we are and we can. That's exactly the reason why I'm making this analogy, since we kind of sort of agree no, we didn't. that pigeons, just like humans, can eat everything. Do you think human contestants would be more willing to substitute snail with a healthier alternative, for example, avocado? Absolutely! But why do they eat snails then? Because they're actually that hungry and there is nothing else to eat. So snail it is. Mind you, on that show people participate only for 21 days and even within the short period of time they already start eating disgusting things that can potentially kill them. Now, think about feral pigeons that live in the city streets all their short lives with no access to good food. See? They are not that disgusting after all. They are just starving and trying to survive in the conditions that humans put them to. If you will give them a chicken nugget and toss a bag of seeds, they will eat seeds and won't touch chicken nuggets. But if they are still very hungry, they will pick on that as well. Same as humans will eat snails if there is no better alternative to eat. Since we started talking about food like french fries and chicken nuggets, it's never good for any animal beside humans. I mean, even for humans it's debatable. Eh, who cares about people? Anyway, there is an organization in Russia called Sirian that is specialized in helping injured wild birds and other animals. They have avian vets and ornithologists as part of their staff. Crazy amount of birds going through their hands, so I have no reason not to believe the information that they post on their social media since they're hands-on practitioners. Here's what one says. The common belief the bird knows what is healthy for it to eat is false. Pigeons will eat anything that will fit in their mouth, which often leads to tragic consequences. I personally happened to pump a crop of a pigeon that ate something like a stew. Its crop was full to the brim of spicy-smelling, orangey-looking fatty substance. The crop wash didn't help, the bird died. There are also known incidents of pigeons getting poisoned by cheap cat food. Crop wash saved the bird's life, but the pigeon became incapacitated and the death of birds by crop blockage from fresh bread. Again, why did pigeons eat that stew, cat food or bread? Because they were that hungry and there was nothing else to eat. But in order to not die from starvation, they tried their luck on stew, cat food and bread. And they paid for that with their lives. Pigeons are not invincible garbage vacuum cleaners that a lot of people think seeing these poor things trying to eat the food that is not normal for birds. Among anthropogenic foods that pigeons have access to in the streets, we can't not mention bread. Now that's an interesting one. A lot of sources agree that people should not feed birds any bird Pigeons, sparrows, crows, ducks, none of the birds should be given bread. But why and what bread exactly not to give, that's where information goes all over the place. Don't feed them white bread, but dark is fine. Don't feed them fresh bread, but if it's like dry and was on your shelf for like two days, that's okay. Don't feed them bread, but gluten-free is no problem. I'm just gonna make it easier for everybody. Don't feed any bird any bread, period. Instead, you can give them barley, wheat, green or yellow peas, or even a bag of rice. This will be not only as expensive or even maybe cheaper than buying bread, but also a thousand times healthier and better for pigeons and any other bird that will join them for the feast. Well, everyone says that feeding pigeons bread is fine. Oh yeah? Who's everyone? Like avian vets or ornithologists? Well, no. like. You know, everyone. Well, that's legit. It's very easy to fall in the trap of stereotypes because they're everywhere. But stereotypes are not always true. This way, there are people who still believe that dogs should eat bones. Never give your dog a bone that it can crush and swallow, especially chicken bones. Those sharp edges can pierce through your dog's digestive system and your dog can die. 
However, if the bone is like hard and the dog cannot chew through it, or if it's soft like some sort of a cartilage, then that's okay. Another one in this list would be cats drink milk. Cats are lactose intolerant. Even though drinking milk is not gonna kill your cat, but it most likely will give it a legit diarrhea. And whatever feeling you have in your stomach when you're lactose intolerant and ate something that has lactose. And in the list, we also have pigeons should eat bread. The reason why I'm telling you all this is because I myself was trapped by all those stereotypes and on different stages of my life I was discovering that they were false. Well, people feed them bread and nothing happens to them. In order to answer on that matter, there should be a legit study by a trustworthy institution where they would take like thousand pigeons or any other bird for that matter. But for some reason, when someone talks about feeding bread, usually people think of pigeons. So let's stick with that. Anyway, thousand pigeons, split them into two groups where the first group would be given strictly bread and another proper seed and grain diet as a control group. All those birds should be monitored through life and not just, well, uh, we fed them once and like nobody died this very second, so we're cool. Because the consequences of eating bread may be delayed in time and turn into a chronic disease that can eventually lead to something tragic. Even even vets cannot diagnose chronic disease just by looking at the pigeon. Yeah, you, you can't do that. I'm not even talking about people who feed pigeons for the whole long five seconds once a month. Maybe? I can tell you right now, there is no such study. However, from reading and gathering information, I can kind of sort of summarize and tell you the reason why bread should not be given to any bird, really. First of all, bread has least amount of nutrients. Even though they will eat it since they're starving, this will suppress the hunger for some time, but eating bread will have minimal nutritious benefits for a bird. Potential crop blockage. We already discovered from the article from Sitting that pigeons can die from crop blockage from bread. But as far as I'm understanding, it doesn't happen often because indeed, people who feed pigeons usually say, I feed them, they don't just drop dead right in front of me. Candidiasis. One of the avian vets and ornithologists that works in Sitting is Maria Markina. She has her own YouTube channel where she shares her knowledge and stories from her medical practice. I have no reason not to believe the information that she is given since she is a hands-on practitioner. A crazy amount of birds going through her hands. In one of her videos, she briefly mentions her observation that typically all city birds have candidiasis. She connects this phenomenon with bread since all city birds have access to bread and they mostly feed on that. I will leave a link in the description and ask Maria to add English subtitles. I mean, Maria doesn't know me and I know her only from her YouTube channel, therefore she might not add English subtitles, but we'll hope. But to summarize, Candida is an environmental fungi, meaning it's everywhere, so pigeons don't just emit Candida as some people may think. Feeding pigeons bread. well feeding any bird bread, you pretty much create petri dish in their digestive system where candida can thrive. On top of that, think about their suppressed immune system because of the parasites that all wild birds have and lack of nutrients to resist pathogens since we already discovered that bread is just an empty filler as a feed. Congratulations, you have a recipe for a sick bird. As a result of candidiasis, mucous membranes get covered by white patches. Fungus. The bird might be puking and have diarrhea, which will lead to dehydration. So, on particularly hot days, if the bird cannot find water, it will die. We also have loss of appetite, loss of weight. Because of candida, the scarce nutrients that bird receive don't get absorbed properly by the body, which leads to starvation, despite the crop full of bread and eventual death. Again, if you're gonna feed pigeons bread, they're not gonna just drop dead right in front of you, but instead they will develop a chronic disease because feeding bread has more of a systematic nature rather than occasional. In the wild, well, not in the wild, in the cities, pigeons live somewhere between two to three years 
well maximum five if it's a lucky bird while in captivity pigeons can live more than 15 years i love making analogies since they make me understand the logic better so allow me to demonstrate the situation of feeding pigeons bread on a similar example of humans and candies. Remember Naked and Afraid that I mentioned before? Imagine the challenge lasted not 21 days, but rather, say, 10 years. And producers, seeing how hungry contestants are, would start giving them those jelly bean candies, just like humans seeing pigeons give them bread. Even though those candies have very minimal nutritious benefits for humans, just like bread for birds, but who cares? People prefer them to snails and like after we feed them nobody dies right in front of us so we made the conclusion that it's fine for them. Can you guess what will happen to humans if they will be eating only candies? Well, in order to answer that question there should be a legit study by a trustworthy institution where they would take like thousand humans, separate them and <clears throat> there we go, that's better. Separate them into two groups, where the first group would be given strictly candies and another proper nutritious diet for humans. People should be monitored through life, and not just someone ate a candy once, didn't die. Conclusion, candies are healthy for humans. There is no such study, of course, but my gut feeling is telling me that life of contestants will become somewhere around two to three years. Maximum five, if they're lucky. You get where I'm going, right? There are still a lot of false beliefs out there about pigeons, but we'll talk about them in the next videos. For now, I just wanted to start giving you another perspective on those poor birds in hope that maybe next time you will see them in the streets, you'll have some sympathy for them. And the first thought that you will have will be oh my god, they're starving, rather than pigeons are disgusting, because it's very far from the truth.